All right, class. Um, I am going to first start off with the intercepts. To find the intercepts, um, which one would be easier, x or y? Y intercept is probably the easiest because for y intercept, all we do is plug zero for x. So what do you get? So my y intercept is zero, zero. Is that also my x intercept? So could I go over here and put a dot? Do I know a point on my graph? Does it go through the origin? Yes. Okay, I want to find my x-intercept. If I want my x-intercept, don't I put zero for y? So, if I want my x-intercept, do I set my top and bottom both equal to zero? No, that's critical numbers. If I want where my value, where this equation equals zero, isn't that just the top? You don't worry about the bottom. That's critical numbers and points of inflections. Don't confuse that. So when does zero equal x squared? At zero. So isn't that also zero, zero? So zero, zero is my x and y intercept. The only place where this graph will cross the x-axis or the y-axis. That tells me something. This graph will never cross this line besides that. Next, let's find our asymptotes. We're going to find our asymptotes. We're going to first find it as x approaches infinity. So, as x approaches infinity, of this equation, does that equal infinity over infinity? So if it equals infinity over infinity, should I divide both top and bottom by the highest denominator degree? So I'm going to rewrite this as the limit as x approaches infinity of x squared divided by x is x squared divided by x squared is 1. What's x squared divided by x squared? 1 over and 9 over x squared. Again, how I got this, I divided everything by x squared. When I plug in infinity, what do I get? Don't you get 1 over 1 minus 0, which is? One. What does that mean? I have a horizontal tangent line. <coughs> horizontal tangent line. Not a horizontal horizontal asymptote. At where? y equals 1. Now, here's my question. If you go and do the limit as x approaches infinity, negative infinity, will I get the same answer? If you take the same equation right here and plug in negative infinity right there, will it change anything? Got it? If I do the same thing, for 1 over 1 minus 9 over x squared, do I get 1? So does that tell me both directions, is it going towards 1? Sometimes, once you get to this e point right here, you just plug in infinity, you plug in negative infinity to see if they both go to the same thing. Sometimes negative infinity will have a different result. So you got to check both. They're both 1. What does that mean? Well, I could go up here on my graph and put a horizontal tangent line right there. That's y equals 1. Now, does that mean my graph will never cross through that? 
No. It just means at the ends of my graph, it's going to come towards that. My graph can go through that. It just means at the ends, it's the end characteristic. OK, so my horizontal tangent line was y equals 1. Those are my intercepts, my extrema. OK, to get extrema, you first need to find your derivative. We got a quotient rule. So um, my derivative is going to be derive x squared, you get 2x. Leave x squared minus 9 minus leave x squared and derive that all over x squared minus 9 squared. So my derivative look like looks like it's going to be. Oh, can I take a two x out of the top? Does that help? Maybe just to take a two x out real quick. Yeah. Because don't I now have 2x and don't my x squared disappear? So don't you just have negative 18 over x squared minus 9 squared? So if I set this equal to 0, if I set that equal to zero, don't you get? Uh, aren't you going to set negative 18x equal to zero and x squared minus nine squared equal to zero? Okay. So here you got x equals zero. Here you have x equals plus or minus the square root of plus or minus 3. Is that right? Now, if we're doing this one, does that mean those are actually critical numbers? No, because take these, plug them back in up here. What do you notice? They don't exist. Oh, did we forget to check for vertical tangent lines? Look at this. First of all, when you plug in zero, let's start with this. When you plug in zero, does that work? Yeah. So will zero possibly be a max or min? Yes. But negative and positive 3, when you plug those in here, don't they give you issues? Didn't we forget to find vertical asymptotes? How do you find those? You set the bottom equal to 0. And when you do that, you get a constant over 0. When you set x squared minus 9 equal to 0, don't you get x equals plus or minus 3? When you plug these in here, do you get a constant over 0? So aren't these both vertical asymptotes? Don't I also have x equals plus or minus 3? Those are vertical. Vertical and horizontal. So can I come over here? So I have asymptotes like this. OK. We're running out of space. But.